We got another football video. This is from Turnover. These are the meanest NFL players of all time. Um, in football, there's a lot of mean players, obviously, but you know, you got you can't do nothing but respect some of these players at the end of the day. You step on the field with each other, you know, play against each other. Good competition. The NFL so is known for its violence and tough players, but these NFL players took it to a whole other level. These are the 15 meanest players in NFL history. Okay. Number one, Joey Porter. It's not a number one. Start, let's zoom straight into Joey, the showstopper Porter territory. This Arizona Cardinals linebacker didn't just earn a spot on the mean list, he Hold practically on. autographed it with a sledgehammer. Ooh. Voted second dirtiest player in 2009, this guy is the epitome of gridiron grit and sheer intimidation. Well, blast okay. back to 2003, and you'll remember his jaw-dropping late hit on Browns punter Chris Gardaki. That play wasn't just a late hit, it was a declaration of war. Was so shaken, he flipped the bird right then and there. Mm. Number two, David Deacon. Jones. I'm assuming I'm against. I'm against Bonte is perfect. Might be on this list. The maybe. Secretary of Defense himself, Deacon Jones. This guy wasn't just a diamond in the rough as a 14th round draft pick. Don't give me those. Full blown gemstone of gridiron greatness. Ever heard of a sack? Yeah, you can thank Deacon for coining that term. He was among the first to bring speed, agility, and raw power to be defensive, raw power. Line, making him a nightmare for any quarterback. Number three, Lyle Alzado. Okay. And Lyle Alzado, the man who made mean look like an understatement. This guy was a walking, talking, helmet-throwing tempest on the field. When he stepped onto the gridiron, hmm. you knew things were about to get ugly. Uh -oh. In the best way possible. Let's get negative, then. The guy had a temper that could make a volcano look like a campfire. He didn't just tackle you, he'd shove oh, you, really? push you, and if the mood struck him, he'd even launch his helmet at yours. Crazy. Number four, Brian Dawkins. Next up... I've heard a lot about Brian Dawkins. Brian Dawkins. I, I, but he's a dog, he's though. He's a dog, though. One minute and lay you out the next. This guy was a paradox wrapped in an Is he mean though, or is he just, you know? Pads. Well, let's start he's with that his hit on Giants wide receiver Ike Hilliard in 2002. That wasn't just a tackle, it was a career-altering moment that cost Hilliard his season and Dawkins a hefty $50,000 fine. Okay, forget what I just said. <laughs> Number five, Heinz, Heinz Ward. Ward. Interesting. Heinz Ward. The man I heard the Heinz Ward is a dirty player. And the 10-ton blocks. Ooh. Don't let that grin fool you. This guy was as mean as they come on the gridiron. In 2008, Ward delivered a block so devastating to Cincinnati Bengals linebacker Ooh, Ian Rivers that it broke the man's jaw and led to a rule change the very next year. That's right, Ward was so ruthless, the NFL had to create the Heinz Ward rule to keep the shack. Number six. Cortland Finnegan, yes. Remember the Finnegan, yes. With Houston Texans wide receiver Andre Johnson, that wasn't just a skirt. Finnegan, not even just that. Finnegan, out, bro. Gloves off, WWE style brawl. And the best part, Finnegan loved every second of it. The guy I enjoyed his it. Bad boy image. You've probably heard the joke that he should change his name to In Again because Andre Johnson knocked the f out of him. But he said In Again. Richie Incognito. Ah, Richie Incognito. Richie Incognito. The guy whose last name is anything but indicative of his on-field behavior. Voted the seventh dirtiest player in the NFL, Incognito huh. has a rap sheet that would make even the toughest lineman blush. We're talking 35 grand in fines for three separate in-game incidents Jeez. against the Washington Redskins in 2008 alone. Number eight. James Harrison. Harrison. James Harrison. I and guess so. Treats fines like a collection of trophies. Seriously, this guy was fined 120 grand last season alone for illegal hits, and he wears that number like a badge of honor. <laughs> and hey, let's you got not to look at the quarterbacks he's terrorized. Drew Brees, Jason Campbell, and Ryan Fitzpatrick have all seen Harrison Hammer come down on them. Number nine. Ray Lewis, yeah. When you think of a play, but are some of these guys mean or are they just like really like terrifying on the field? Because Ray Lewis hit, really, Ray Lewis should be one he, of the first he, names what? that come to mind. He didn't just tackle players, he drove right through them, making sure that they felt every pound of his force. But he's good at his job. His physicality that makes him mean. It's his finesse. Lewis was fined twenty-five thousand dollars in two separate incidents in 2010, even at the ripe age of 35. And let's not forget his stats. 
1,529 tackles, 487 assists, 40.5 sacks, 31 interceptions, 80 passes deflected, 18 forced fumbles, mm -hmm. and 19 fumble recovery. Why do you got a resume? Number 10, Dick Butkiss. Moving on to the NFL Dick? man, Dick Butkiss. When you don't, the don't, monster, don't do anything crazy with that. Off the midway, this is the guy who should be haunting your dreams. Why is he on our list of meanest players? Well, let's see. Buckus was the epitome of the Bears' defense. Ruthless, unforgiving, and downright terrifying. And he racked up an eye-popping 1,000 points. So, if, if you play defense, you're mean, except for Hans Ward. <laughs> who actually, that was kind of, you know, I don't know. Roy Williams. Williams. Roy Rule Breaker Williams, the man so notorious that the NFL had to create a rule just to contain him. A rule to contain him, crazy. Rule, Roy Williams is the reason it exists. This man was on a one-man wrecking spree in 2004, sidelining not one and not two, but three players with his notorious tackle, including Sheesh. the legendary Terrell Owens. The -O. Well, first off, he didn't just ban the rules, he obliterated them. His tackles were so mm. controversial that even the rule book couldn't keep up. Oh my goodness. Number 12, Albert Hainsworth. Now, this man isn't just a player. He's an on-field demolition crew with a rap sheet that reads like a Hollywood thriller. You remember 2006, right? Well, that was the year Hainsworth literally stomped his way into infamy by stepping on the head of Dallas Cowboys center Andre Gerard. Really? It wasn't just a penalty, it was an eruption. Gerard left the field bleeding from his scalp, and Hainsworth walked away with the longest in-season suspension for an on-field incident in Eesh. NFL history. Final oh, then Dominic the suit. Then Dominic suit. Gotta be on here for that. Benaric. Chuck Bednarik, the ultimate 60-minute man who rocked both offense and defense. So what is both sides. Charlie carved into the Mount Rushmore of the NFL's meanest? Well, just ask Frank Gifford, who got a first-hand experience of Bednarik's fearsome power. That hit was so monstrous, the entire league held its breath, wondering if Gifford would ever make a comeback. Uh -oh. And yes, Gifford did return, but only after learning the hard truth about the wrecking ball that is Chuck Bednarik. Number 14, Devin Witherspoon. Witherspoon, of course. didn't just show up, he exploded onto the scene in 2022, playing with a ferocity that makes even seasoned vets do a double take. Seriously, Witherspoon didn't just tackle, he delivers bone-jarring hits that you'll feel for days. We're talking no, about a good three stanger. solo tackles, three interceptions, and a whopping 14 pass breakups. And to top it off, he ended the year by racking up consensus All-American honors. <laughs> That's no small feat for someone so new to the game. True. Number 15, Deuce Vaughn. Let's end oh, this boy. with someone standing at just 5'5 five, five and weighing 179 really? pounds. You might think he's out of place on a list of the meanest players, but boy, would you be wrong. This dynamo's a masterclass in why size isn't everything in football. Why is he mean, Despite though? his smaller stature, he throws himself into blocks with such force, you'd think he was twice his size. He's adorable. He's five. No, let me chill. I don't think that's me. No. Okay, so uh, again, shout out to um, Turnover for the video. I guess some of these can be justified whether these are mean or they're just, you know what I'm saying? It's like hitting people. I don't know if that's just me. But if you guys want more of these type of football videos, leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and turn on notifications. So you know next time we upload so turn that bell and i'll see you next time we upload come on